Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. Hey, hey, I'm James Spann. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video, Friday the 10th of December. Hey, get set for some weekend rain. Big cold air outbreak on Sunday and Monday. A few snowflakes along the way, so let's get right to it and see what's happening here. First off, looking back at this morning, that was nice. Boy, the sun coming up over the Tennessee River. That's the uh, Decatur Sky Cam looking back off to the east. Just gorgeous with those high clouds. Uh, let's look at the conditions this afternoon. We'll first off start down in Clanton, down in Chilton County. The sky is mostly sunny. However, let's go to Fayette, and you can see the skies become overcast up there in northwest Alabama in advance of the next approaching storm system. It promises to bring some uh, excitement along the way. There's a water vapor satellite shot. You can see our developing wave over uh, Montana and Wyoming. That'll be diving southeast and digging. Temperatures, hey, look at the 50s. Tuscaloosa, 55. Montgomery, 58. 53 for Birmingham and Anniston. But around the nation, look at the cold air lurking over the northern part of the continent. Looks like the uh, cold spot up there is, what, minus 43. I see a lot of minus 30s over Canada, the northwest territories of Canada. And, again, that's going to be dropping south. And, man, will it turn cold next week or what? Early next week and, and Sundays when it all starts. Uh, first off, uh, convective potential for tomorrow. Again, we're not worried about severe weather. We've got those low-end 5% probabilities over, uh, well, from Mobile back over toward uh, uh, Natchez and Macomb, Mississippi. And, uh, again, the, there's, there's no surface-based instability. So uh, some of you might hear thunder tomorrow night, but we don't expect any severe weather. Now, this is where the action is going to be up north. Look at all the winter storm watches and warnings up north. I see a blizzard warning for parts of uh, South Dakota. It's going to be a big mess up there. In fact, we'll take you through the snow outlook. This is tomorrow. You want the big snows? Uh, head north. Uh, the upper peninsula of Michigan, Green Bay, they'll be slammed with heavy snow. Minneapolis, St. Paul. And then on day three, which is Sunday, the uh, snow band moves on to the east. Places like uh, Buffalo, Pittsburgh, Erie, Cleveland. Let me tell you what, those lake effect snow zones are going to be hammered. And I do believe there is a home game in Buffalo Sunday. That'll be fun to watch that game to see if you can see the yard markers in the snow. Here's the overall precipitation for the next five days. And again, we're talking amounts of uh, at least one half inch here, maybe one inch on the high end. Modeling is kind of varied between one half and one inch. And uh, the bulk of that would be from about 2 o'clock tomorrow afternoon till 2 a.m. Sunday. And then beyond that, anything that falls would be in the form of snow. All right, let's dig a little deep and see what we got here. <clears throat> let's start at the uh, uh, GFS. This is the 12Z run, valid at noon tomorrow. There's your digging storm across the plains. Uh, at midday, the rain is still north and west of here. Surface low is pretty far north, up around the Quad Cities, not of Alabama, but up over uh, uh, Iowa and Illinois. And uh, there's the trailing front. We've got showers that should be moving into uh, northwest Alabama at midday, then overspreading the whole state. There's midnight tomorrow night. Good batch of rain coming through, maybe some storms. And, yeah, we see the potential for a change over to snow back on the backside. And then midday Sunday, all that's gone. And we note this run a little more bullish on snow flurries down into uh, the northern half of Alabama. We'll continue to mention that in the forecast. All right, let, let's get in here and uh, dig around a little bit. Uh, let's start with the RPM model. Uh, this is valid at uh, 4 a.m. Sunday. And, again, it's got the precipitation well to the east, and you can see the change over to snow just clipping that northeastern part of Alabama. Uh, so the RPM is not particularly bullish on any snow here with the changeover. And, again, like we've talked about, the better chance, if this is right, would be up there getting the ground white would be around Mentone and those high-terrain locations of uh, Jackson and DeKalb counties in northeast Alabama. Now, the NAM is uh, certainly more interesting. Uh, this is valid at 6 o'clock Sunday morning. Now, keep in mind that the precipitation on, on this chart, it's for the six-hour period from midnight until 6 a.m. So, you know, in a way, you have to remember that the, all the precipitation is going to be winding down as that freeze line at 5,000 feet drops south, which can be a pretty good rain-snow line where you see zero there on that blue line. That's zero Celsius or freezing Fahrenheit and uh, 32 but again, it's certainly suggesting there could be a change of, uh, from rain to snow early Sunday morning during the pre-dawn hours. Uh, we'll take a look at the uh, European. This is valid at 6 o'clock Sunday morning. Looks a lot like the uh, GFS. It really, again, it suggests maybe a very brief change to snow, but certainly no big deal. But the Canadian, on the other hand, 
Oh, boy, now you look at that. That's five inches of snow, but that seems way overdone. That moisture field seems way out of line, and, and we, we reject that solution. We'll look at the accumulated snow graphics, first off coming off the RPM. And obviously, with that look you saw, the better chance of accumulating snow certainly will be north of us. Up on the Cumberland Plateau, looks like they might pick up a couple of inches if this is right. And certainly the mountains of uh, North Carolina and eastern Tennessee will get some uh, nice snow down into north Georgia. Uh, but nothing shows up here. And finally, the GFS accumulated snow. And uh, it's interesting how it's actually got a, a little patch. You have to look really hard to see that. And this is just nothing more than a dusting where you see that very light pink. Got a little patch over east central Alabama down there around Talladega and Ashland and Lineville for some reason. But again, you can see clearly that uh, hardly any of these models is bullish on any big accumulating snow here. Having said that, you know how anything goes. So we'll be watching radars carefully after midnight Saturday night, early Sunday morning. And certainly during the day Sunday, we'll have flurries. And the big story is the cold. I mean, we, you, you can't downplay that. Uh, uh, we're going to go from highs in the upper 50s on uh, on Saturday to temperatures dropping to near freezing on Sunday. And they basically stay there all day. And you factor in a strong northwest wind of uh, maybe up to 30 miles an hour. The winds will be very strong. And that's going to push the wind chill index down into the uh, teens much of the day. Monday, goodness, the, the latest GFS is showing a low Monday morning of 15, a daytime high of 31. The numbers keep coming down. And Tuesday, that's when radiational cooling is the big deal. That these The colder valleys will likely see single-digit lows with everybody else in the low and mid-teens uh, from 11 to 16. So uh, very cold, colder than what we've been dealing with over the last few days, uh, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Wednesday will start a slow warm-up. Uh, we'll probably reach the uh, low 40s, perhaps. And we note some moisture trying to work back in here. That will be a cool, light rain. That's going to be north of a warm front. Uh, so, again, uh, the chance of a little cool rain falling Wednesday afternoon or Wednesday evening. And then Thursday, uh, the warm front pushes north of us, and uh, that would suggest kind of cloudy, showery weather with, again, the GFS showing highs up in the 60s. That would be a huge rise if this is right. We go from low 40s on Wednesday to low 60s on Thursday. And a week from today looks uh, dry, uh, northerly flow, so we cool off a little bit. Highs in the 50s, that's where we ought to be. Let's dig deep in the month. How about Christmas Day? Hey, hey. December 25th. Uh, Got kind of a little ridge here, and that looks very uneventful if this is right. Uh, cool, but not too cold. Uh, but temperatures ought to be exactly where they should be, and that would be 50s and 30s if this is right. And remember, this is voodoo. We're still really a week away from giving a reliable Christmas forecast. I mean, we're talking two weeks away here. And on the 26th, we do note a, a big storm cranks up on the model with a bunch of snow and stuff out in the Rockies and the Plain States. But again... This is all voodoo. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. Uh, Brian Peters will have the videos tomorrow and Sunday. My next video here by Monday morning at 7. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening. ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend and God bless.